Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good morning everybody. Actually, wow, good morning. Good afternoon everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. I uh, hope everybody is doing great. So a lot of stuff to talk about. So here's the greatest part about trading, at least for me. Um, you never need to be packed in a corner. Um, I came in today, obviously I recorded the video uh, on the weekend update show uh, in the morning. Okay, it was around 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I came in today sell biased, obviously um, sell biased. Uh, I, I gave a good amount of reasons uh, over the weekend why I believed uh, the market was going to fall apart. Well, at least not fall apart, but at least back this. I don't want to use the word fall apart. Um, and I was wrong and I was wrong. And, and here's the greatest part uh, about being wrong. We're going to be wrong all the time. Okay. Uh, we're going to be wrong in everything we do in life. If, if you're trading and you don't have an opinion, uh, if you don't have a bias, if you're not thinking, then you're out of tune, right? You're out of tune to what's going on. The greatest thing about having an opinion is it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be wrong. Uh, I come in again flat uh, every single day. Um, I find enough ranges throughout the day kind of to make hay. That's the whole point. And we're not trapped in a corner or painted in a bias as the day prolongs. So we got the gap this morning, a pretty healthy gap. It was about six, 700 points, okay? And again, the first thing I said was the initial value, again, on any gap up in a bear sentiment, first move is always value to the downside. What we wanted to see, and we got it. If you, if you, look, at the, if you look how the market opened up today, here's the chart of the Qs, you'll kind of see that. So here was nine, you know, here's the open, right? Here was the open. The first thing they did was, you know, come in, right? So they come in, never really put in any downward channels to kind of take advantage, but they came in. So we wanted to see, you know, how the bulls will kind of deal with prosperity. Okay, that's the name of the game. And we wanted to see how the initial channels could confirm. Okay, now before that happened, we wanted to look at the headlines of the day. So we got the big gap up and apparently, okay, we drove this gap up today was the hopes, okay? The hopes that some of the data that we did get, obviously after I recorded the video, uh, that certain places are starting to peak or flatline. Like for example, Italy, France we saw uh, this afternoon, Spain, I think it was like three, four days in a row. We even got a headline, and again, if I'm wrong, please correct me. We either e even got something out of New York that said that the cases were smaller than the previous, whatever it was. So there was a lot of optimism, okay? And, and that's the one thing that I think all of us, uh, whether you're trading from the bull side, from the bear side, I think all of us can agree, we need optimism. We even spoke about that uh, on, on the video on Sunday. So we need something to be hopeful for, something that we can see the light of the tunnel. And speaking of which, Donald Trump actually tweeted out, that, well, here's the light at the end of the tunnel. So all of us have our fingers crossed, okay? And the result was the Dow surged 7%. But I, I think the cooler part of the day was two things. Number one, we switched buys very, very quickly in the morning. We got some really good, aggressive opening plays uh, all over the place. NVIDIA, uh, Netflix, uh, Tesla, right? We got some really, really good plays. And then we kind of sat and watched. And the one thing that I, I, one of my favorite movies, okay, and I make a lot of poker ref preference. I'm not a poker player, which is the most ironic part, um, but I, I, I like poker. I used to like kind of watch it on TV, but I'm not a poker player. I just kind of liked the mental aspect when they show like the World Series of Poker on ESPN. Like I'll sit there and watch it, just kind of see like the mental aspect, not necessarily to translate into trading, but you know, I, for some reason there, there's some sort of mental stimulation for me. So I kind of watch it, but I've, I'm not really a poker player. And one of my favorite movies that I, I like, and I'm sure a lot of you guys feel the same way, is Rounders, right? For all you guys who've never seen Rounders, uh, stars Matt Damon uh, as this like hot shot, aggressive poker player, uh, John Malkovich, which one of the best characters, underrated characters of all time. Again, if you love the movie, you obviously think this is a phenomenal character, but he plays a character by the name of Teddy KGB, right? Russian mafia uh, type of dude. 
And one of the greatest scenes uh, towards the end of the movie was when Teddy KGB, okay, thinks he has the upper edge and he starts talking a lot of crap uh, and he, you know, he thinks he has the best hand and all you're seeing is Matt Damon's character, he's slow playing him. He's slow playing him. He's feeding him into what he wants. He's betting accordingly to what the Russian guy thinks he has the best hand. And that's exactly what happened this morning. You're starting to see, after you saw the initial grind, they couldn't hit the market, right? They, they couldn't sell off the market. There was nothing they were able to accomplish to get the market down. And I started, and I started tweeting out, this was two hours ago. This is when the Dow was up, you know, 1,200 points or so. I, saw, I go, hey, Bears, I go, you guys realize you're getting slow played, right? You guys, and again, obviously, I wasn't looking for an answer off anybody, but I said, you guys are, you know, this, you guys are getting slow played here. Not sure you know what happens next, okay? And the next tweet, I turn around, I go, and I, and I go, I go, if we sit here, right? If we sit here for like another hour, okay, we probably will see a push 15, 1600 points into the close. That's exactly what we got. And the most amazing part, right? The most absolutely amazing part of this push into the close, we talked about it perfectly in the live webinar that it's been happening literally in the last five, 10 minutes. And you just saw this massive candle, really, really massive candle, uh, almost a two and a half dollar candle on the queues in the last five minutes. Again, it's, 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 a, it's an amazing game, this whole trading thing uh, that we are um, exposed to every single day. You could be right, you could lose money, you could be wrong, you can make money, you could have a wrong opinion, switch on a dime, make things happen, you could be right and still screw it up. This is such a crazy, wonderful, insane game that we chose to play. But at the end of the day, uh, the day turned out pretty well. Um, some good pivots. Uh, again, I think it, most important every day we're trying to get smarter. Okay, we're trying to get more intelligent. We're not reckless. Uh, it's not about how many trades you're, you you can muster in a, in, a, in a six hour session. It's all about methodical ways of playing this game. It's a new market right now. We're in a new reality. I hope to God, just like everybody else, that. Yes, indeed, that we are starting to kind of flatten out this curve line and we're starting to go lower like they're starting to see in France, in Italy, uh, France, Italy, Spain, right? And I hope to God, I pray to God every single day that this is like our first step uh, in the United States that we can, you know, get some sort of, just some sort of blow off top like we talked about in uh, last night's, in the last night's video. So, you know, the Bulls did exactly what they needed to do. They gapped up above that 190 level. Remember we were talking about that 190 level in the queues, right? They gapped up above that 190 level in the queues uh, that we talked about uh, over the weekend. They came in and then they remounted very, very quickly. And I knew right there and then, right when they remounted that 190 area, we were going to rally. Um, so the day turned out good. The day turned out good. There was definitely some, some good pivots. I got caught on an initial NVIDIA pivot. Smaller size, but I got caught in it. I got a little too aggressive at the open, uh, just on my entry, and then I made back, and then then some on the video. Same trade, same candle. Um, so that was fine. But it, it was a really good day. You could just see a lot of really aggressive moves. And let's talk about them kind of one by one here. Uh, let me just go back into the PS60 feed. Let me just go back into the feed here. If it could load up here. So here we go. So here's how kind of the day started. And you can see it was basically like pivot after pivot after pivot after pivot. Uh, and I go, I go just in case we gap up and then kind of reclaim those areas, right? I want to put in upside pivots. And that was the whole thing. Everything was upside pivots. I don't, don't excuse me. There was one uh, downside pivot we had on ZM intraday. We'll talk about that in a second. But this was the day uh, Tesla 515 needs to build. Here was the first. I caught this trade as well. I didn't make as high sales as possible, but it was a $7 candle. I mean, there's nothing, nothing wrong with that. So here's the channel, right? Here was the channel here. Here was the uh, 15, uh, 15, 14, 15, 15 area. It broke that and put up a $7 candle. Beautiful move. Really, really nice move on Tesla. There was another pivot towards the end of the day. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, NVIDIA 257 needs to build. NVIDIA, I mean, really, has this, has there been a stronger name than NVIDIA? I mean, really, if you look in the video's chart, right, 
Has, has there really been a stronger name than NVIDIA through all this? I mean, NVIDIA is just an absolute monster. Uh, so here is the 257 level, this whole range right here, right? 257 level, and that first move was, the first move caught me, then I bought it back and made, made a little under $3 on my highest sale on NVIDIA, so I was happy with that. Just as a side note, uh, we had a great discussion, and the reason why I'm bringing this up is for a reason. We had a great discussion around uh, one o'clock, right after lunch, uh, the difference between a confirmation channel and a confirmation price. Uh, so what we're gonna do is our, our guy, one of our great guys, uh, Kyler, uh, who does an amazing job. He's the one that edits uh, all these videos. He's going to uh, crop out that area, that discussion. It was like 20, 25 minutes. We, we broke down the difference between a confirmation channel and a confirmation price. Uh, so look out for that. We're going to put it up. We're probably going to put it on YouTube um, probably in the next couple of days, maybe the next day or so. So keep an eye on that. But again, there's a major difference between a confirmation channel and a confirmation price. And we kind of had a really good discussion uh, about that uh, intraday about that. So keep an eye on that for, for that. Uh, Netflix just continues to be a monster. Again, the pure play, blah, blah, blah. 371 needs to build. And there was a sec second, uh, there's actually three entries on this thing, but 371 was right here. 371 uh, needs to build. First candle went up to 75, and there was another candle above 75. We'll talk about that. Uh, Alibaba, there was selling, there, there, were, there was a reload seller the whole morning, 95, 95, 95, 95. They finally cleared out that, that reload seller and Alibaba had a nice move, right? They finally cleared up the 97, here's the whole channel here at 95, finally brought up that area and went to 196.88. Now, why, why is 197 important? If you look at the top cha channel here, you see that? 196.80, uh, 196.88, you see that? So 197 for tomorrow, guys, is going to be a big, big area on Alibaba. So nice trade on Alibaba for those who took. Apple, 251.50 needs to build. Here was Apple. And as you can see, like one by one by one. So here was Apple. Uh, here was a sneaky pivots right here, 251.50, 251.50. It took out that 251.50 and really beautiful grind the whole day. Just, ex I mean, exploded. Really, really big move on Apple as well. Uh, and you can see, you see one by one, NVIDIA, perfect. Uh, Apple, nice, <laughs> perfect, nice. Uh, and again, I said, you know, three, the first move, three, you know, selling to the 373s. Uh, again, these are the initial moves of the pivot, so they were nice moves here. And then I go, now we wait. I go, now we wait here. And then you started seeing the afternoon pivots, one by one by one. Facebook, uh, 161 basically needs to build. Here was Facebook. Again, these are confirmation channels. These are not confirmation uh, uh, prices, right? So here's the highest area into supply, which was uh, 160.87. So it started building above this 161 area and just, just really exploded on Facebook. Uh, yeah, again, take on the way up. So then again, here we, you know, again, the afternoon started kicking off. Nice early move. Now it needs a 372. 50, 373 to fit, to wake up. I mean, damn thing went to 380. Um, Facebook new highs, Alibaba new highs. And again, here is again, here is a channel that, you know, there was a channel to the downside. 117 on ZM if it builds below can flush. Uh, buyer comes in for the 115 weekly. So here's a 1750. And again, it wasn't a huge move, but here is the 1750s right here. 1750 was a sneaky candle. It broke below and went all the way down to 16 and change. So again, for all you guys that did take it, good job. Quick, quick, quick cash flow there as well. Uh, take on the way down. And so again, a very, very aggressive session. Okay. 7% uh, all across the board uh, for the bulls. And now the key for tomorrow's session is can the bulls, right? Can the bulls uh, live with prosperity, right? That's the name of the game. Can the bulls live with prosperity and start reclaiming some monster levels? So let's talk about some of these monster levels, right? So here's the cues, okay? Cues stop today at the linear regression line. For the market to continue tomorrow, we need to reclaim 197.50s, excuse me, 197.60s for a possible move to... Uh, 199 and a half. So again, 97.50s, 60s uh, to the 99 and a halves. Uh, again, I like the way Tesla is setting up today. I like the way Tesla is setting up. You can see here, two big macro levels are setting up right here. 
There's a macro level setting up up here. So that looks really, really good. Um, I like the way Netflix is setting up for tomorrow. Again, these are macro levels that need to confirm above here, NVIDIA as well. Again, we're pretty much keeping it simple for tomorrow. We're not looking for any exotic symbols. We're not looking for anything that I've never heard of before. We're looking for the meat and potatoes. Again, if there is optimism, okay, if there is any type of validity in this optimism and obviously data to back that up, then we need to trade the stocks. They're not going to give us 20 cents a, a, a candle. They're going to give us dollars, okay? And the stocks that got beaten up are the ones that are going to get rebought, uh, reallocated to uh, to the further quarters down for the year. Again, I am praying to God, just like everybody else, that there this is a first inning of some sort of closure, at least for now, okay, of this really aggressive, nasty virus. Again, don't get excited. Stay, you know, stay home, stay safe, contain, man, and just number one, stay safe. Guys, God bless everybody. I wish you all the best. I'll see you on the field tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.